Hi, I'm Ben. I'm an application scientist at Denovix, and today I'm going to show you how to take a measurement with AOPI. AOPI is a combination stain of acridine orange and cripidium iodide and is used to assess cell viability and count cells. Preparing a sample for AOPI measurement is quite easy and closely mimics the process for tripan blue measurements. Ensure that your AOPI reagent is at room temperature before proceeding. In a fresh tube, add 15 microliters of AOPI reagent to 15 microliters of your cell suspension. We're working with HEC293T cells at the standard chamber height in this video. Pipe head up and down a few times to mix the sample. You are now ready to measure your sample on the cell drop FL. To measure, resuspend the sample containing cells in AOPI and pipette 10 microliters directly into the cell drop sample chamber, ensuring that the chamber is set to 100 microns. On the screen, you'll see the cells come into view and start to settle. Once the cells have stopped moving, select the green channel and set the focus and the exposure. After ensuring that the green channel looks good, all that is left to do is check the exposure in the red channel. Once you have confirmed that the red exposure is correct, you can press count. The cell drop will take a few seconds to acquire the green, red, and bright filled images, overlay them, and provide a full count and viability analysis. In this image, only the nucleated cells are stained with AOPI. This means that RBCs or cellular debris are automatically ignored without any need for input from the user. The live cells will stain green and the dead cells will stain red. While the preparation time is similar to Tripan Blue, the data is more accurate due to the nature of AOPI. Thanks for watching. Check out the links in the description for more information. Or if you have a question or a comment, please leave a comment below or email us at infodenovix.com.